Okay, guys, Yuri, Yuri, you're a solo. Looking for shorts at this area. If we can get a bearish rejection, I'll scale into the lower time frames and look for an entry. Again, it's just about being patient, waiting for the opportunities. If it presents, it presents. If it doesn't, I sit on my hands. Okay, guys, we're at this level now. So let's see how this reacts. Ideally, on the two minute, we'll look for a breakdown, clear the low, change of structure, a break of structure, and then a retest, um, showing that the trend has changed, which will confirm the rejection on this hourly. Okay, we look to be breaking through this area, which is fine. Um, if we break through and close, we're still going to be overextended in my opinion. So I'm still looking for shorts either way. So guys, still waiting for this setup. That's a lot of what trading is. Um, you, what people don't see is it's very boring. You're sitting there waiting for setups um, and you're just sitting on your hands waiting for the market to come to you. Starting to reject a little bit more. So if this closes in about 46 minutes, if this closes like this and we get a breakdown on this two minute um, and we get a, an entry that fits my plan, then I'll be looking to short. But yeah, like I just mentioned, guys, a lot of us just sitting around being patient. You know, you, people watch the, the films, they, they, they think trading's, you know, buying, selling all the time. A lot of the time you're just sitting there planning, waiting and being patient. There's nothing to do except sit on your hands because in order to have an edge, you shouldn't really be trading all the time. Your edge will occur at certain periods of time and that's when you execute. Most of the time, if you're looking at the markets, looking at the charts, there's nothing to trade. There's nothing There's nothing to execute. So still be still being patient. It's quarter past one. Been waiting since London Open um, and just been being patient, waiting. And I'll let you guys know if we do execute this trade or not. Also, guys, I'll show you this video quick. Take a look at this video of Roger Federer. He was talking about the percentage of points he won in his whole career. Question for you. What percentage of points do you think I won in those matches? Only 54%. In other words, even top-ranked tennis players win barely more than half of the points they play. When you lose every second point on average, you learn not to dwell on every shot. Because he's saying the top, even the top tennis players in the world that win the major Grand Slams like Wimbledon, US Open. I mean, I think he's a 20-time Grand Slam winner, regarded as one of the greatest of all time. He lost half of his points throughout his whole career. And the fact that he was saying not to dwell on, you know, the previous point and to be to accept that you're going to lose points. But it's overall if you, you know, and the same with, with trading. I took this as very to heart with trading because sometimes you seek perfection, but you can't get perfection from every trade. It's a probability game. And, you know, if you have 50 percent win rate in trading, you can still be an extremely successful trader. But if, if someone takes a couple of losses automatically people on social media or people watching think he doesn't know how to trade why are you losing why are you taking losses it's the mentality you need to understand okay guys so looking for a breakdown on here now if we can break below these lows get some kind of retest this is a two minute retest we've got confirmation of the trend changing on the two minute and we're looking for the continuation to the downside obviously like i said this hourly is overextended so in 15 minutes we'll get this close um, if it closes like this and we get a breakdown, like I said on this, then we'll be game to enter. So as we can see, guys, we never broke below this low and we've continued to go up. That's why it's so important to wait for the candle close because look at this. The candle is looking so strong, looking to close bearish. But it's so important to wait for the candle close because now, look, we can see it's wicked up. And now we're looking to continue. Like I said, this lower time frame didn't break down, so we're still in an upward trend. Um... So yeah, it's incredibly important to wait for the candle closes, be patient. Again, this is what trading's about. I've mentioned this before in today's video, but it's good to document and show the realities of what trading's like, sitting here being patient, not much going on. Um, you're nearly at a setup, you think you're gonna be close to executing and then it doesn't present. So again, it's quarter past two, we'll sit and wait and we'll see if anything happens or occurs for the rest of the rest of the afternoon. Now I've just gone past three o'clock guys and we're still waiting. It is looking really nice though. I mean, we're looking for pullbacks around this level. So the fact we've broken through, it's even more overextended. So if we come up to this level, uh, we either come up to this level and start selling off or we come up and break through, then we start selling off. It could be a nice opportunity to short. Again, pullback moves that we're looking for. 
So even if this goes into tomorrow, I'll I'll take the trade tomorrow if there's an opportunity. If not, again, we just sit there patiently waiting. And that's why it's sometimes good to have other things going on in your life. Making a video at the minute uh, for the channel. So if you guys would like, like, comment, and subscribe on this video, help help the channel grow. We're nearly at 3,000 subscribers, which is crazy in about a year. So that's crazy. I appreciate all the support. Uh, follow the Instagram down below as well. I'm doing daily reels on there, trying to grow that platform. But yeah, just being patient, waiting again. Today's lesson is mainly about being patient, not hopping into any trades, not rushing anything too quick and just taking your time. You know what you're looking for. And if it doesn't present, you, you don't trade. If it does, you execute. It's very simple, but Okay, guys, so we've broken structure. You can see on the hourly, if this closes in about 25 minutes uh, like this, it'd be very nice. Again, like I've been saying, overextended, bearish engulfing if it closes like that, which also means that this has broken down. You can see we've broken below the, these lows now. Clean change of trend, potentially. So if we pull back to this area and the candle hasn't closed i don't like to enter i want to see the candle close on the hourly and then a pullback so yeah we will see it's now 25 to 4 so yeah like i said waiting all day that's trading for you sitting there patiently waiting let, allowing the market to come to you come to us that's it so we waited all day guys and it looks like it's gone off without us with no entry the pullback the entry was set and would have been at the 0.382 fib which was here 1.07381 and we pulled back but didn't get it didn't come up high enough so again that's what you have to remember in trading you know you can sit all day it's now what time is it nearly four o'clock you can sit all day waiting and then it goes off without you so you just got to be emotionally stable emotionally controlled and understand you know there's nothing we could do about it, this um but yeah, we'll come back. If anything else develops, I'll let you know. Okay, guys, it's the next day. Potential opportunity again on Euro US dollar. Looking for longs again over extend to the downside. So if we get an entry, I'll show you. <laughs> okay, guys, the reason why I closed this early is because. It was this 10 minute. I was playing up to the highs of this 10 minute because this is still extremely bearish, as we can see. So this is and it's just a pullback move on the hourly. Um, so you have to be very, very careful with these trades. So obviously, as you would have seen, I would have got in here and I got out of these highs. So 1.4, not too bad. That was only half risk as well, because I'm trying half risk on these entries where I'm not looking for confirmation. I'll show you in a minute, but I'm not looking for bullish or bearish confirmation. I'm just end setting an order at a key level. If you look on the FTMO dashboard, as you can see this winner that we just had. But remember, this was half risk. So if I did full risk, that would have been 420. Um, so yeah, although this winner still looks smaller than these, these were 1% or well, just over 1%. This I was, was half risk on the trade because like I said, I'm... I was did half risk because of the new entry model. Guys, let me show you an example of what I've changed with regards to my entry. So usually, I won't break it, everything down, but f to make it easy, we've broken out. What I look for, once I've got confirmation, I've got a higher time bias. This is just my entry time frame. I look for a rejection of the 0.382 level. And I'd usually wait, in this case, for a bullish engulfing, just to, to confirm that the bullish momentum is going to come through. So I would wait for something like this. And my entry would be up here. And then I would look for the continuation because I've got confirmation that it's come to this level and then we've got some bullish momentum. But now what I'm looking to change to, try, to change is to just set blindly an order at the 0.382 and not have the confirmation. So it'd be something like this. I'd already be in the trade here. And then that means I'm going to have a lot bigger risk reward because that goes from 2.8% blindly setting it to if i wait for the confirmation 1.41 so although this could mean i have lower strike rate because you're you know this could just completely drop this is more likely to continue because we've got the bullish momentum my logic is my entries sometimes i miss entries because it, the risk reward gets ruined i think if i set orders at this level yes i could have a lower strike rate but the minute i do i have a lot lower strike rate at the minute my win rate hasn't been the best so let me let me know what you think. I mean, do you think it's 
worth me i mean i'm confident in the system but it's now do i wait for the confirmation like my my plan was to wait for the confirmation like this some kind of bullish engulfing and then you would look for the continuation or do you wait for or do you just set blindly an order at the level i see some people do this which gives you a lot bigger risk reward that would be 2.8 percent you know so that's what I've changed, um, and that's why on the previous trade I've gone half risk because I'm, I'm trying it out. I haven't gone full risk. I went 0.5% risk. But, yeah, that's interesting. I'm going to document it and see how we get on. So, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I appreciate all the support in the video. Please like, subscribe. Let's, get, let's hit 3,000 subscribers. You know, we're on the road to that. It'd be amazing. Thanks for the support. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. I'm just documenting this whole journey. I hope you guys like it and, and enjoy the realities of what it's like to get funding, the whole process. Hope this video has shown, you know, the realities, you know, being patient, you know, seeing trades go off without you. Um, obviously, we've got a nice winner in there as well. So hopefully the new entry model works as well. And yeah, um, show this to people if, you, if they like trading and they're interested in the true realities of what it's like. And yeah, I appreciate the support. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.